Hi, this is Grant with Full Time Freedom RV. Today I'm going to be talking about rust proofing your truck or car. And over here I have my truck that I used to pull my fifth wheel. And you notice right here I had some rust. And I'll show you why this is happening. This is a common place uh, right at the bottom of the doors. Uh, the rockers, also the corners here and the cab corners and up here on the fender the rear part of the front fender is often rust too so the reason why this rust down here it was rusted when I bought it is sometimes caused by these rubber pieces so they put these rubber pieces on to uh, insulate and also keep out some of the noise and to keep out moisture from inside but also this ends up trap trapping moisture because water runs down from these holes and the water is supposed to run out at the bottom of the doors but what happens you can see right here the water is staying right here on this seam and then it just sits there and especially during the winter if there's salt in the water then this will deteriorate and rust out along the door there so one thing you could do you could just could just remove this and then spray it with some like undercoating uh, or you could make a cut I don't know if you could see this you could see here I, I notched out this area this is all rusted right here so I ended up just cutting cutting that section out and I had to go and and scrape all that to get all the loose rust off and then I I used some sandpaper and sanded it down yeah sorry you can't really see that well with the lighting so maybe you can see now with this flashlight on it yeah that's all rusted out in there so then I got some Coro seal uh, you can get some rust converter rust-oleum or or this stuff Coro seal and you can put this right over top of the rust and it primes the rust uh, it actually needs to have rust on it for it to convert it and so you can put this right on it you just you just brush it on and I just got a you know brush in a cup and you just brush that on thick in about 24 hours you let it sit and then it'll convert the rust over to metal a way to prevent this from happening is you can go uh, to Zbart. I went to Zbart, and you can have these holes. They drill holes in here, and then they coat the inside with this wax all through the rockers and the doors. You can see here. This is what they do. They drill a hole here, and then they put this kind of wax and wax or oil inside there, and it goes all in the doors here. Uh, or you could do it yourself, which I'm doing it right now myself, too. Uh, you can use baby oil, or you can uh, melt down Vaseline, or you can use motor oil, or transmission oil. You can use any of those. And you could either drill a hole yourself, and you want to tape off those holes at the bottom of the door. So these, these holes so you don't want the liquid to come out yet the oil to come out so you put the tape over there tape over the other one you could drill the hole and then put the baby oil in I was using a straw I just put a straw in like that and just poured the baby oil down in that tip you only need about two three ounces down in there and that should be enough um, if you don't want to drill a hole in your door there, then you can run a pipe down down through where the window is, or you could take off where the power windows are and just find a hole in your door and insert a straw in there and shoot it down into the bottom of the door, or you know anywhere you might be able to find a space where you can fit fit a straw in, but you got to make sure that you're going actually into the metal part of the door to get it down into the bottom of the door.
and then that what that does is it coats it all uh, with that oil and you only have to do that about once every two years and it'll keep it from uh, rusting out from the inside out another area is on the front those front uh, fenders you can see there the the rear part of the front fender that part often rusts out and that's often caused by leaves and debris getting stuck in here so open your door up take out any leaves or debris you might have a kind of piece of sponge or something or a pad in there just take that away and then pull out any of the debris and then you just want to pour just pour the baby oil right down in there or mineral oil or transmission oil motor oil whatever you want to use just pour that right in there make sure it's good and soaked in there so front fender do your door do your rockers so the rockers you could drill a hole there in the corner put it down in there uh, you could park on a hill up and down to make sure it coats you know the front and back uh, you could put a hole here and a hole here to put it in or if you don't want to drill those holes then you can often in most vehicles you could take off this piece right here and then you can find an access point through there where a screw was or something and you can fill that up with the, the oil okay so that's uh, the information on how to prevent it in the future and make sure that your car is protected during the winter um, if it has salt on it then you want to wash it down or hose it down after you're riding through the salty roads All right, before I close out this video I just wanted to go back over that rust spot that was at the bottom of my door that I showed you in the beginning of the video and just take note of how the rust spot looks here and the color of it and then I'm going to show you the next clip and this is about a few minutes after I had applied the Coro Seal, you could see the milky white residue is still on there from the Coro Seal. And notice the color, how the rust has changed. It's actually converted that rust to a paintable surface. Uh, it stopped the rust and it's now converted uh, to a hard metal substance that's ready to prime or just paint right over. And then finally, this last picture is after uh, 24 hours and the Coro Seal had dried, you could see a little of the white uh, residue around there. After, it was pretty easy to clean off. I just used some soapy water and cleaned that off. Uh, but yeah, the surface was nice. It was converted to that dark uh, black metal material. And then after that, I just spray painted over with the, the same blue, midnight blue color. Uh, that what my truck was and uh, turned out really nice I highly recommend that Coro Seal it made things really easy and simple for converting the rust and to help you rust proof your vehicle for the future I hope this information is useful for you I'll put a link to the Coro Seal in the video description and any other products you might need and uh, if you like my videos please subscribe and check out the other ones and have a nice day